We are in no position to be claiming that the universe is not necessary, that it requires an explanation for where it came from, or that at one point it didn't exist. We don't know that, and there are no logical problems with um, an eternal universe. I, I, I find none. And the supposed solution for if this universe does require an antecedent, a cause, or whatever, is just literally special pleading because we say, well, it's a thing that doesn't have, uh, that, that isn't required to itself be, ha have a cause behind it, the uncaused cause, you know? So you I, can, I just find it to be a little silly. You can laugh at it, but the what I have researched and what I know is <clears throat> the latest, like, quantum science points to quarks are vibrating energy. You say energy is not. What? We're talking, what about, what? What about the Big Bang, though? Okay, even before the Big Bang, even if there was many Big Bangs and it came from somewhere else. There, Bro, like, you're sure. literally just flailing. <laughs> what about corks? What about Big Bangs? <laughs> what, what, yeah, like, what do we... Which, which thing do you want to talk about? It doesn't matter to me, but w let's, let's make sure we don't switch back and forth. I mean, I was trying to talk about corks, but you don't... I mean, you just laugh it off. I don't know. My is it is vibrating energy. You say energy is something else, but it's called concentrated energy. That's what quantum science calls it. And it, everything is made out of this. Everything is made out of quarks. It's just different energy vibrating in different frequencies. And so you're talking about string theory? Kind of, yeah. It is I think he's trying okay, to, well, yeah. It, is it, string theory, it, it exists purely in the realm of just theory. Um, because the... Like string theory makes predictions that could theoretically like be tested, but I, I don't know the specifics of this, but like the reason it can't is because you would need a system that like literally has more energy than anything we could ever possibly hope to build. Like even if we harness the power of the sun or something like that. So none of the ideas about these vibrating zero dimensional strings or whatever is really like the math maths in its own kind of weird way, but it's, th there's no empirics behind any of that. What do you mean <laughs> empirics? Like anything we know, study, can see, do, do um, observational empirical science with. Well, I mean, just because science hasn't gotten there yet doesn't mean there could be something, but. Yes, but so then it's, it, it's not a valid claim to say that that's what this is because it's, um, there's been no verification. I mean, from what I understand, scientists understand quarks as vibrating energy. That is what I've... No, they're, well, Justin told true. you this already. They're fundamental particles. They're not made of anything. String theory posits that like, it what could not be... Made of anything? They, um, it, it posits that all particles are these tiny vibrations, but that's not really known with any kind of remote certainty at all. I mean, there's a theory behind it. I guess there's not fully proven theory, but what I'm getting at is that all these, all these quarks, you could say they're not made out of anything, which doesn't make any sense, but all these quarks that build up atoms, that build up in the entire world, it is a part of the source, it's part of the whole, and that's what every religion is getting at. I believe it's heavily misconstrued, no. watered down, and people added weird shit to me but at the but you're making it even more weird no. people thousands of years ago didn't somehow intuitively know about the fundamental structure of matter they we do know what they thought yes, it was yes, different yes. in different parts of the world i don't know about eastern traditions but that they literally like western traditions were like yeah there are four elements and some of them believed in like a fifth one or whatever sometimes but no that's like really they really just thought that everything fundamentally was made of fire earth water air and then some sort of like weird essence that's sort of the misconstruedness i'm talking about that came later but the fundamental idea of the end of the religion is kind of the same it's all it's all heaven it's all nirvana it's all you go once you die you enter the the main just everything and you stop playing as a human the, the universe, or God, as people, or the religion describes it as God, is the source of the energy that is driving us. Like, when somebody dies, what happens to them? Do they just, they have they're no done. They, they're the same place they were yeah, before they were born. 
Yeah, there are religions that don't believe yes. in an afterlife. So the idea that they're all fundamentally the same is just not true. Yeah, but there has to be an energy there that is gone. There's something driving your body. There's no, something- energy is a property of matter. It's not a thing that exists. It's not a stuff. It's what makes up quarks, which makes up everything. So I don't It's know. not. No, no, that's not known. Okay, it's not known, but just like the Big Bang isn't known, it's a theory. No, it's, it's known. The reason we call it a theory is because we have the utmost highest scientific confidence in it. It is a theory of what's well, the, the Big Bang theory in this case. General relativity is a theory because it's a massive collection of proven scientific ideas and tests and an accurate model that describes nature, like plate tectonics, like atomic theory, like the theory of evolution, and like many other things. Yeah, but the quantum scientists, that is the latest research available. That is what they're It's saying. not. No. Google it, dude. That is what... This, I, I, ha- I have. You're talking nonsense. Okay, quarks are made out of vibrations. That's what it says. They're not. No. It's different energy <laughs> vibrations. That's string theory, which is in no way proven. In in it no is, way whatsoever. It's the most supported like theory, but okay. It's not. It's not. <laughs> so, anyway, so when somebody dies, they where did their energy go? They just stop. There is no energy. Energy is a property of matter. So why can't they just be reanimated and re re brought up? Because they decay. Yeah, what if you just power your own like what if you power back up? You can't do that. I know you can't do it. You can do it only for a certain time period. Once the decay gets so severe, the body can't repair itself. It's like saying unrust the bridge. I mean, you can't. Yeah, it's like, wh- why can't a car be a car once it's completely rusted? Like, it's because it's decayed. It's gone. The, the functional part of it's no longer there. So, yeah. I mean, I would say that I believe in what you would call nirvana, which some people call <laughs> heaven. It's, it's just the place you were before you were born and before you got after you die. I'm sure. Why do you think that? Well, I mean, it is technically a belief because I don't have like full evidence of it. But my argument is that we are the universe. We are like the Earth. You could say like a tree is part of the Earth or a mountain. Is part we of are part of the universe. We agree. Like on a fundamental level, we are the universe playing as a human, pretty much. Our thoughts and our brain. No. 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 We're, we are a piece of the universe. Small piece. Yes. But when yes. the die, the set of all things, which is the universe, includes us. Yeah. Yeah, but when we die, that those that matter that has to be transferred somewhere. Yeah, it goes Doesn't. like out and around. I mean, the around. flower. There's this really beautiful poem, and I don't think anybody really knows who it's by. Well, it's not much of a. It's not really a great poem. It's just a line, but it says something like, "When I die, my body shall decay, and from it flowers will grow." And that is eternity. And I think that that's kind of beautiful. And yeah, the atoms that you're made of will be recycled into some other form on this planet. It'll go into a tree or something like that. Statistically, we can basically prove that every time you drink water, you're drinking at least one molecule of Tyrannosaurus Rex piss, right? Um, And every time you breathe, you breathe at least one molecule that Abraham Lincoln breathed, right? We can just kind of demonstrate that. Uh, As far as energy... Well, I'm warm-blooded, so is my cat, um, so is Justin, right? So if I were to die right now, some of the energy that my body is giving off would just go out into the universe, but that's just, that's, that's true of, like, literally rocks and, <laughs> and anything made of matter, yeah. so. I mean, it is another part of the universe, less intelligent, less aware, <clears throat> but what makes humans special is our brains and our ability to compute things. But that so animals can do the same thing. Have you seen ants solving the uh, the tea problem? Yeah, and ants are life itself is an amazing creation. I mean, are ants reincarnated? It's all reincarnated. It's all the same source. It's all the same. But are ants reincarnated? Do they have souls? Everything has this form of a soul. We have more connection to it because it's what is intelligent. It? But everything is part of that same energy that runs everything. It's, so do it, ants get it, reincarnated? It, it, yes or no question? When they die, their their nutrients go into the ground and can fuel a tree or something or would stay there forever. Until, 
buddy, we're talking. Okay. You're the one who That's... brought up reincarnation and the eternal soul. I'm asking you if ants have the same thing. It sounds like you're giving secular ideas as if they are spiritual ideas when they just aren't. I mean, like I, I agree that when things die, they become fertilizer. That's not evidence of the great juju at the bottom of the sea or nirvana or an afterlife or literal reincarnation. Well, you wouldn't nobody just... ever, no, nobody ever imagined that reincarnation is just the cycle of life and death. Um, they imagine it's much more than that, that, that like a conscious experiencing agent occupies a different life um, after it dies. Okay, when you die, you think you experience nothing, right? There's nothing afterwards. Yes. Well, there's no me, and so there's no experience. I disagree. I disagree that there is a you, and there, there is an existence, and that existence cool. is Provide the evidence for that. For example, if you look it up, which I'm trying to do right now while talking to you. <laughs> trust me, bro. You got a lot of trust me, yeah, bro, if, here. If you, if you go off the app, we can't hear you. I don't know if you know that. But. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to I'm gonna try that argument on, on my next guest. Look it up. Trust me. Look it up. Trust me. It's true. That is what quantum scientists say. Is that it's not. Are made out of vibrating energy. Concentrated All right. energy. No. That's well, I think string like. theory isn't quantum mechanics either. That's what it says, dude. I think we found the limit of his argumentation. It's look it up and pivot back to old topics that don't work. Did he have anything else or is that it? I mean, I don't have enough research, but I'll, I guess I'll get back to you guys. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming through, Jacob. Yeah, I would say. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. I would say, I would say zero is not enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>